The discovery of six ancient galaxies with masses far greater than expected has sent shockwaves through the field of cosmology, challenging long-held theories about the formation and evolution of the early universe. These galaxies, discovered by the Webb Telescope, are far more massive than the conventional cosmological models predicted they could be, and they appear to have formed just 500 to 700 million years after the Big Bang, much earlier than previously thought. In standard cosmology, it was assumed that the first galaxies would be relatively small and low in mass, with star formation starting around 200 to 300 million years after the Big Bang. The mass of these newly discovered galaxies, some of which have more than 10 billion solar masses, and one possibly even over 100 billion defies this expectation. According to current models, such massive galaxies should not have existed so early in the universe's history, as there wouldn't have been enough matter to form them so quickly. This contradiction has prompted researchers to double-check their findings, but despite extensive validation, the data remains correct. This raises fundamental questions about our understanding of the early universe and the processes that led to galaxy formation. One potential explanation that some researchers are considering is that some of these objects could be dust-covered black holes rather than traditional galaxies. Black holes, especially supermassive ones, could have formed earlier in the universe's history, and their growth could have influenced the development of nearby galaxies. However, the precise nature of these objects remains unclear. These findings underscore a larger issue. The current models of cosmology, particularly the Big Bang theory, are increasingly being questioned. If galaxies could form so rapidly and at such massive scales, it would suggest that the universe may have evolved in a way that our current models do not account for, or that our understanding of the physics of the early universe is incomplete. The Webb Telescope, with its advanced infrared capabilities, continues to revolutionize our understanding of the cosmos, uncovering new mysteries that force us to reconsider what we thought we knew about the origins and evolution of the universe. This has led some to speculate that the Big Bang Theory may no longer be sufficient to explain the universe's beginnings, and that new models, perhaps based on concepts like those proposed by Sir Roger Penrose or Fritz Zwicky may be necessary to account for the data being uncovered. As Webb continues to observe the distant universe, the challenge for scientists will be to reconcile these new findings with our existing models or to develop entirely new theories that can explain the nature of the cosmos. The discovery of Jade's GSZ-14-0 a galaxy formed just 290 million years after the Big Bang is another extraordinary finding that challenges current cosmological understanding. This galaxy shatters previous records for the earliest known galaxy, which was Glass Z13, discovered in 2022. The existence of such a galaxy so early in the universe's history, when, according to standard cosmological models, the first stars were only just beginning to form raises serious questions about the conditions and processes in the early cosmos. The key to understanding the significance of this discovery lies in the concept of redshift, which measures the stretching of light as the universe expands. The higher the redshift, the further away and older the galaxy is. With Jade's GSZ-14-0, Astronomers have detected a redshift far surpassing the previous record of Z, equal to 13.2. This redshift suggests that the galaxy formed just 290 million years after the Big Bang, much earlier than expected. The Lyman Alpha break, a distinctive feature in the light curve that corresponds to this redshift, further supports the claim that this galaxy existed at a time when the universe was only a fraction of its current age. But the implications of this discovery go beyond just the age of the galaxy. According to experts, Jade's GSZ-14-0 
must have been incredibly luminous at the time, implying that star formation in the early universe occurred much more quickly and efficiently than our models suggest. For a galaxy to achieve such brightness and size so early on in the cosmos, it would either require a much higher density of matter in the early universe, possibly two to five times greater than current models predict, or the process of galaxy formation might have occurred in a completely unknown way. This discovery, along with the earlier findings of massive galaxies that existed within 500 to 700 million years after the Big Bang, points to a major discrepancy in our understanding of cosmic evolution. If galaxies could form so quickly and at such large scales, it would imply that the early universe was far more evolved than previously thought, leading to the conclusion that current models of galaxy formation and matter distribution need a serious overhaul. The possibility that these galaxies formed much earlier than expected raises another critical question. How did these massive structures form so rapidly in the first few hundred million years after the Big Bang? Was there an undiscovered mechanism or process that allowed for the early emergence of such galaxies? Or is there something fundamentally flawed in our understanding of cosmology? Could dark matter, dark energy, or unknown physical laws have played a larger role in these processes? Webb's ability to push the boundaries of knowledge and challenge established ideas is setting the stage for a possible rethinking of the Big Bang theory and the early stages of the universe. If the densities and growth rates of galaxies were much higher than assumed, it would mean that the cosmos evolved at a pace that we hadn't anticipated, suggesting the need for a more complex and nuanced understanding of cosmic evolution. As the James Webb Space Telescope continues to reveal more about the distant past, scientists are finding themselves at a crossroads. The more Webb discovers, the more it seems that our current cosmological models may be incomplete or incorrect, and new theories will need to be developed to explain the vast array of discoveries being made. This could be a pivotal moment in the history of astronomy, where the paradigm shifts and new ways of thinking about the universe's origins and evolution emerge. The recent discoveries made by the Webb Telescope, particularly the detection of extremely bright, massive galaxies formed just 290 million years after the Big Bang, are forcing researchers to reconsider fundamental assumptions about the early universe. These galaxies with several hundred million solar masses of stars and clear signs of multiple generations of star formation raise significant questions about the rapidity and mechanisms of galaxy formation in the early cosmos. One of the most perplexing aspects of this discovery is the presence of bright emission lines of hydrogen and oxygen in the spectrum of these galaxies. These lines suggest that several generations of very massive stars must have formed, evolved, and died before the galaxy was observed by Webb. The idea that such large and luminous galaxies could form so quickly challenges the previous belief that the early universe was populated mainly by small, faint galaxies. These findings indicate that there may have been processes in the early universe that allowed galaxies to grow much more rapidly and to higher masses than previously thought. As researchers confront these discoveries, they are increasingly questioning the viability of the Big Bang theory as the definitive explanation for the origin of the universe. While the Big Bang theory has been the cornerstone of modern cosmology, explaining the expansion of the universe and supported by the detection of cosmic microwave background radiation, it also leaves many unanswered questions. Some of the most pressing questions surrounding the Big Bang include 1. How can something emerge from nothing? The idea that space, time and matter all originated from a singularity is a perplexing one. Even proponents of the Big Bang Theory struggled to explain how a universe could arise from nothing, as Stephen Hawking pointed out, where even time itself began with the Big Bang, raising questions about the true nature of before the Big Bang. 2. 
Why is the universe so uniform? Despite the vast distances and the seemingly chaotic nature of the universe, large-scale structures like galaxies and nebulae appear to have a similar density and distribution across the cosmos. This uniformity is often explained by the concept of cosmic inflation, which posits that the universe expanded exponentially in the first fraction of a second after the Big Bang. However, some experts argue that this theory might not fully explain the observed patterns, leading to ideas like chaotic inflation, a more speculative hypothesis that suggests the universe is not a singular entity, but part of a vast multiverse with multiple bubble universes, each governed by its own set of physical laws. 3. What if the Big Bang wasn't the beginning? Some theories are even questioning the very idea of a beginning and end in a cosmic context. If the universe is cyclical, as proposed in some versions of the Big Bounce theory, it would mean that the Big Bang was not the beginning of everything, but rather the latest in an infinite cycle of expanding and contracting universes. This theory suggests that our current universe may have been born from the collapse of a previous one, challenging the traditional view of a singular, one-time event that created everything. As Webb's discoveries continue to challenge established cosmological models, scientists are being forced to confront the possibility that the Big Bang theory, while still a dominant framework, may not be the ultimate answer to the origins of the universe. New theories are emerging that attempt to explain the observations made by Webb, such as the possibility of a cyclical universe or the existence of multiple universes, each with its own set of physical laws. These discoveries and hypotheses suggest that we may be on the cusp of a profound shift in our understanding of the universe, one that redefines our concept of time, space, and the very nature of existence. The questions raised by Webb's findings, coupled with the theoretical challenges to the Big Bang theory, are leading cosmologists into uncharted territory where the old models may no longer be sufficient to explain the complexity of the cosmos. The ideas you're describing, particularly the concept of the cylindrical transition between universes, align with fascinating theoretical frameworks in cosmology and quantum physics. This model, which suggests that the universe is part of a multi-dimensional structure subject to an eternal rhythm of collapse and reconstruction, is akin to certain cyclical universe theories like the Big Bounce. In these models, the universe continuously contracts and expands, with each new universe emerging from the collapse of the previous one. This challenges the traditional notion of a singular Big Bang, and instead proposes a more dynamic, ongoing process of creation and destruction. Your reference to quantum physics and string theory adds another layer of complexity to the discussion. According to some interpretations of quantum mechanics and string theory, the universe and everything in it might not exist in the way we experience it. Some physicists propose that our three-dimensional reality could be a hologram, a projection of information stored on a distant, two-dimensional surface. This is the foundation of the holographic principle, which suggests that the universe, as we know it, may be an illusion. The idea is that the fundamental nature of the universe could be based on information encoded at the boundary of the universe rather than in its volume. Taking this even further, the idea that we live in a simulation created by a superintelligent civilization aligns with the simulation hypothesis. This theory suggests that all of reality, including the stars, galaxies, and even our perceptions, could be part of a vast, advanced simulation. This is a profound philosophical and scientific thought experiment that challenges our understanding of existence itself. The Kardashev scale, which categorizes civilizations based on their energy consumption, fits into this narrative in an intriguing way. 
If there were a Type III civilization capable of harnessing the energy of an entire galaxy, such a civilization could potentially have the technology to create a simulated universe. This could mean that the reality we experience is not the product of natural processes, but of an intelligent, technologically advanced civilization. And then there's the idea of the Matryoshka brain, a hypothetical superintelligent computational system capable of simulating entire universes. If such a system existed, it could potentially simulate entire galaxies, star systems, or even our entire reality. The implications of this theory are profound, raising questions about the nature of consciousness, free will, and the nature of reality itself. Finally, the question of whether we should know the truth about our reality is a deeply philosophical one. If we are indeed in a simulation, what does it mean for our sense of purpose and identity? Are we better off in our ignorance? Or is it crucial for us to uncover the truth? These are some of the deepest and most intriguing questions in modern science and philosophy. It's a fascinating area to explore, and it's clear that these topics will continue to shape our understanding of the universe in the coming years. Whether or not you wish to know the truth, the fact that these questions are being asked is a sign of humanity's unrelenting curiosity and desire to understand the cosmos. And yes, I hope you haven't forgotten to give a thumbs up and subscribe. It seems this exploration into the mysteries of the universe is only just beginning.